For the Pro 1200 crew, big waves and high winds translates into critical air time. But the truth is that going up isn't going to get you closer to the checkered flag. It's a classic situation where bringing it down a notch may allow you to go forward faster. Easier said than done. You know, I think the key is to kind of stay low off the waves. Don't let, uh, don't get too high and uh, not, not let the wind grab you in the air and throw you off the boat. A couple times I, I, you know, got on it a little bit and got some pretty good air and you can feel that wind just pick you up and move you, so it's kind of sketchy. Survival is going to be the key out there. Um, you definitely need to go try and go as fast as possible, but uh, you can't win a race if you're swimming. So uh, just definitely the guys that use their heads out there are going to do a lot better, and uh, that's going to be definitely really important today. I think just to get a great start and just ride with your head. Don't override and just uh, use your brains and then hopefully you can ride smooth and come out with a win. Both Ian Tosca and Matsura has validated their game plans with wins in their respected qualifier heats, but the final is what it's all about. The thing about racing 1200s in these conditions is they are able to go faster and fly farther. Of course, the price paid for a mistake is that much greater. Dustin Matsuras was up to the challenge and took the turn one hole shot. For Nicholas Rios, airtime became somewhat of a fetish. He was simply flying, spending almost as much time in the air as on water, which led to a critical mistake. When Nicholas Rios finally arose from the abyss, his boat was upside down and taking on water. Nicholas was seriously shaken, but fortunately unscathed. Craig Warner has been solid and consistent on his Watusi Miller Racing Sea-Doo through the carnage, starting and finishing third in the final. But defending Pro 1200 national champion Dustin Matsuris was the man for the first seven laps on his Kawasaki STXR, leading the final until his teammate Dustin Farthing relieved him of command for the final eight. Life got real interesting for Farthing and Beverly Racing's Tim Miller when Tim took a bad bounce coming off the back of a wave. It was close, but fortunately Tim was unhurt. Dustin Farthing raced from fourth to first, riding a flawless race for his first Pro 1200 main event win this season on his Kawasaki STXR. You know, the, the longer the race, the actually the better I ride because the smoother I get. Uh, you know, I started getting the feel of the boat more and more, you know, the more laps I've got into it. And, uh, you know, being new on the ski, you know, I'm learning new things as we go. Uh, the STXR is an unbelievable ski and, uh, you know, it pretty much does make my life a lot easier. Final results for the day, Dustin Farthing, Dustin Matsuras, Craig Warner, Arminio Antosca, and Minoru Kanamori. Dustin Farthing takes the all-important Pro 1200 overall points lead going into round four.